I that, learned that. I learned that recently. Is we're not supposed actually to actually get demonetized. Well, we were never monetized. We have the option to be monetized, but we've just never done it. Or I think how much do you think? Our ethnicity much, just does not allow us to. We have <laughs> our, we have a like a nice like palette of colors on yes, this we podcast. Do. Yeah, I've been working on my tan, man. I've been wearing tank tops <laughs> everywhere. It's pretty light in there. But how's it going, guys? Nice, pretty good. Do you, how much? Do you, how much money do you think we'd make if we monetized this podcast? Seven, seven hay pennies. Seven to uh, ten hay pennies. Episodes. Time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We would be making LA Fitness numbers. Is what we would be making. LA Fitness I'm personal trainer right now. To be honest. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, when it happens, it, it's it's interesting. Our our videos will they will uh, the the views fluctuate up and down a good bit. Um, so who do we have here? We have who's at the bottom right now? Mick Zuckerberg. How's it going, Mick? Oh, it's just peachy. peachy. Just peachy. Who are you? I'm what is your contribution to the world of physical fitness? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't prepare for this. Um, so yeah, I'll make the starting strength up. Develop that. It's been. I just realized the other day. It's been seven years. I was about to say, what year? So that, that's from 2015. Damn. 2015 was the first version of the app. Fuck, you were a bright-eyed 18-year-old in 2015. <laughs> yeah, I was still <laughs> in my 40s. <laughs> uh, okay, so you made the Starting Strength app. How's that been going? Yeah, it's <clears throat> chugging along. It's, um, you know. Fucking seven years. Like that's it. an old app. I feel like most apps don't even, their lifespan is like six months. Yeah, well, I'll try and dig up some of the images of the first version of the app and you can see how. how that would be nice. I'm, I'm not great it was no yeah. it was pretty even the first version was pretty good i think um but we keep on updating it and uh Ooh, yeah here it's go. um here we go yeah it's good it has good reviews and people like it and email me quite a lot saying they like it so uh, it's actually just yeah. me emailing you from different accounts <laughs> your spirits yeah, yeah, yeah. up yeah you suck <laughs> that's yeah. all i got I, I, I still have a bunch of people in the gym that use uh, the app like who awesome you know are, they are love the warm-up calculator of, yeah they love it dude they just they're like moth to a flame they love that mm -hmm. shit yeah, I, I mean, so I'm not I'm not shitting you as well. I mean, like I, I Chase and I have never talked about it before. That same thing happens to me. People will be like, "Are you going to tell me my exact warm up?" So I'd be like, "No, <laughs> what the hell," and they love the warm up calculator in the app. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I understand like people who, in their sort of first three to six months, who use the warm up calculator because, like, you know, you're still getting your, your head around all the weights and stuff. But like, surely after a year of lifting, you don't need a warm up calculator. Some people use it. Chase, how do you There's calculate no your warm-ups? I just do plates. Yeah, you just put plates yeah, on the bar. What the kind of question where is this? warm-up is just another 45. Yeah, <laughs> for a while it is. Uh, yeah, that's basically all the way from zero to 600. And then he's like, okay, time to put some two and a half sun now. Time to who's get the, the old calculator out. Who is this yeah, big gentleman? Yeah, use micro plates. <laughs> yeah. So, Chase, who are you? What do you do? I'm Chase Lindley. Um, I am head coach and starting strength coach at Oklahoma City. Um, that is a franchise gym that we opened up about a year ago. Um, it is related to starting strength and we teach and develop uh, coaches and clientele using the starting strength method. Yeah, it is the place. It is the concentrated mm -hmm. shot in the mouth of starting strength. Um, so we'll talk about, uh, cause we'll probably have some new, more new people rather than just the usual gang watching this one. Um, so this is starting strength coaches review your lifts. We have some form checks that came in from last week. Plus we're going to take a dive through the SS Reddit to see kind of what's good, what's bad, make fun of people in the comments. Um, so the starting strength coaching process and selection board, it's changed through time. Um, but fundamentally we have to sit through how many hours over the platform exam of practical examination. I mean, it's all day. It's, they're watching you constantly, today. even your behavior in the lectures. Yeah, it, yeah. yeah, it's you're just being scrutinized to every single detail, whether or not be on the platform, but actually, yeah, sitting down, you're like, man, if this guy's a complete ass. He's taking a nap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that kind of tells you about how he's handling clientele, maybe. Yeah, if the dogs like you, if you like the dogs, exactly. <laughs> if you're, if, if everyone Carmen is getting you. along with you, if yeah. Carmen likes you, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so basically the, the starting strength um, coaching credential, the reason we consider it to be different and more better than the rest of the secret clubs is that we have a very lengthy practical portion um, to our examination process. Most of them CrossFit. I think, you know, after a certain point, I believe they start being very rigorous about their platform, <laughs> maybe at like level three or something to that effect. Um, but fundamentally, you know, when you are uh, when you're coming in for the SS platform exam, you are operating at the level of the coaches. You're fixing all of the problems as they need to be solved. Um, 
it is it's really it i mean everything everything else you're going to see all the nasm all the sscs ccss whatever the hell you want to call it um all of that stuff it's they're more or less just multiple choice quizzes we're the people when we're watching form it's because we watch tens of thousands of reps year over year um so i do in-person camps where i'll be watching generally between five to ten people and i'll be running them constantly and i'll be doing kind of an am pm session with them for a week week and a half two weeks something to that effect and then i do online work where i've got like 40 ish clients and i'm watching hundreds of videos a day literally hundreds of videos chase is in a is in a physical franchise gym how many people do you think you're watching per class what's the usual class size for you um today i'll give you like a rough count we had well, I'm sorry. Mondays, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is more of our busier days. Um, so mm -hmm. Monday we had five people at noon, and then in my next evening class we had about six, so about eleven. After that, probably about four more people in the other two classes, so about fifteen people. Yeah. So um, Chase is watching day. all of the warm-up sets and working sets for multiple lifts for fifteen people. Mm -hmm. Monday, Wednesday, Friday for months on end. And that's just for one day, right? So if you expand yeah. that to all of the other five days, because I believe you guys have some stuff going on on Saturday, Chase mm -hmm. is watching thousands and thousands of coaching reps. Yep. And not only yeah. that, it's new people too that come in. And so, yeah. I mean, same thing for you, Alex. Like what makes you different too is like you coach um, another physical sport and mm -hmm. you have to, again, communicate effectively to get people moving how you want them to move. And that separates mm -hmm. us from everything else that you see on paper with multiple choice questions or, um, you know, answers that are given to you kind of. Yeah. There's, there's like some hotshot CSCSs who are like, man, you know, I'm going to run my, my four week speed block into my six week yeah. hypertrophy block for this lifter who has never done an LP before that, you know, all, all that stupid shit. It's like, you can talk about the Krebs cycle as much as you want. We both know it. It's more or less irrelevant to the work that we're doing. Um, and then after we have this whole platform exam um, to continue the self-wankery, we have a very extensive board exam um, where basically you kind of sit down and you argue with people for like three hours. Chase and I did kind of did the old version, the confrontational version, um, where mm -hmm. you just have to argue with like some DPTs and, and professionals in the industry regarding all the semantics of this stuff. Um, so we have some actually go on, on the this. street too and they, they hire a random person and you have to explain to them. <laughs> argue with the hobo now. yeah you do you do man on the street news reporting that should be the, yeah. yeah this should be the next step is like you know someone just shows a camera in some random person's face and be like look you have to explain mm -hmm. in great detail everything how do you feel about roe versus wade and also please tell me where the the combined center of mass is on the squat go in 30 seconds yeah that's the stuff that we're doing um but yeah um and so we have we have mick zuckerberg the excellent the excellent programmer and then we have we have two strength coaches who are trying their best um so we have some uh well, I guess we'll go through the starting strength Reddit first. That's what we'll end up going through. And then we have four form checks to finish. Uh, can we do the form checks first? We want to do the form, form checks first? first? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah how do you pronounce this name, boys? Yoka Ingles. Is it yeah, Yoka? I, mean, I thought this was right up your alley, Alex. It's totally not in my alley. <laughs> these, are your, these are your people, I think, aren't they? I pronounce everything with like an old Gaelic <laughs> and Scottish tongue. So I read like F's as S's. In Can you like, <laughs> pronounce this guy's name then? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think I, I think it's like Joka. I was gonna say Joka. I don't know if this is the, the James or Wise guy. Yeah, he's he, he lives in a society. It's it's yeah. pretty bad. Yeah, please he's give us from, a phonetic pronunciation of your name. He's from Wolverhampton in the United Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> he's from Bumbledon. Okay, all right. So we we have a few form <laughs> checks to get through. All right, so we have one from a gentleman named Constantine coming in here. We're going to share this. John Constantine, Oop. the dude who fights demons? Hell yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. We're, this is old Keanu Reeves Constantine. I'm going to be honest with you. The fit of modern sweatpants, I guess joggers, I just fundamentally disagree with it. I think the looser sweatpants just look better. Yeah. Can I make a comment about this before you guys even... Please, go ahead. Them? I mean, if you're going to use a, like a, you know, what a bar path app, probably best if your mate isn't moving the camera at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Be a human. Tribe. Just a, you know, just a, just a hot tip, I reckon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He also kind of twists to be like, am I done at the end? Okay. Yeah. But these squats actually aren't that bad. These are, these are pause squats to start. So <clears throat> Chase, how are you feeling about these guys? So on the pause squat, I see this a lot too whenever I program uh, this with people is that they interpret it as, okay, I have to relax the bottom and I have to sit in the back of my calves, kind of like what Constantine's doing here. 
you don't need to do that. You still need to remain tight and you need to cut off the depth about another two inches. So you're still applying some tension and some um, some strain on that hamstring. So where you're, you're able to keep your shin angle where it needs to be um, and your back angle solid too. Okay, boys, I have uh, been vindicated. Can you see that? As in John Ka, as in Ka. John Ka, Jaka, Jaka. 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 That's amazing. Every Joker. Halloween, immediate Joker cosplay. Yeah. Just go so around. this guy, um, Constantine, he said, light squat form check. I injured my left hip a few months ago, and I'm trying to get back into strength training. Okay. Yeah. Just LP back up, Doug. These look like you had yeah. 10 reps in reserve. That's totally fine. Um, yeah. So, so what Chase said about the pause squat, I like to describe <coughs> it to people as you are fighting for depth. You are fighting to stay at the exact position you would be if you weren't doing a pause squat. Um, Chase is describing people sit past that point and they just kind of relax in their calves, you know, their, their lower back rounds a little bit more than it would on a normal squat. Um, and it becomes a totally different movement. Um, not totally different in that, like they don't, of course, they don't have carryover to each other. Um, but if a lot of people would be like, man, I'm really getting stuck in the hole. So I'm going to program in pause squats, but then their bottom position ends up looking a little bit different. So like the intent of the pause mm -hmm. squat should be to like squeeze the bottom position like a stress ball. You are staying as tight as you possibly can in the exact configuration you would a normal squat. You're not just kind of like sagging past it. Um, how do you feel about bar path tracking apps, guys? Do you guys think they're useful? Uh, I don't have anyone use it. I mean, I just mm -hmm. kind of see it with my own self. I have it ingrained in my brain, but yeah. I mean, For people who who have helpful. don't watch tens of thousands of squats a year, yeah. what do you think? Um, it may be helpful, but at the same time, you know, what is causing these deviations? Could it be like, hey, you're not leaning over enough? Um, so mm -hmm. I think it may cause a little bit more problems than it <clears> solves <throat> here, because now you're seeing like, hey, you have this deviation, but again, like, I don't know what's what's to fix this. So people will usually just kind of correct it with a very vertical back angle. And then that's not what we want with them to lean over, use their posterior chain. Um, so again, I, I think it kind of does a little bit more harm than good. Yeah. I think it does more harm than good as well. Cause I think people will um, without a proper understanding of the mechanics of the system, they will attempt to solve it. Right. So if they know like, Oh man, there's a problem. Look at how my bar paths all wonky. I need to solve this problem now that doesn't guarantee that you have the correct solution. All it guarantees that you identified something that could be a problem. So like Chase was saying, there's like, there could be four different things that you need to fix that you just are unaware of, you know? Um, so bar path apps, I tend to avoid them unless I'm using it to kind of demonstrate a specific thing. So like, let's say like Chase's um, like snatcher is clean. He's popping it off of his hips a little bit too much. It's moving and I want him to be able to see that. We can kind of see that for that horizontal translation. But for new people, I mean, fuck him. I, I never use the bar path tracking apps. Yeah. Um, all right, we got a guy named Robbie Mack. Robbie Mack, oh, 12, actually. So he comes from a long dynasty of Robbie Macks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got an email from a guy from the show, actually. Um, he's, a, he's a Texan. Um, he's, a, he's Ernesto the Fourth. He was the, he's the fourth in a series of gentlemen who were named the oh, exact same barons. thing. Um, that that's awesome. just really cool. I've never, I don't yeah. think I'll ever have that sort of succession. Part of me is now thinking about naming my children, both men and women. <laughs> I've met my people who are the third, <laughs> but not the fourth. And the fourth is just yeah. like, that's cute. That's a long. You just got to try to keep the streak up. going. I yeah. want to have kids now just so I can name them Mick the second. Mick the second, Mick the Mick third. Junior. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I didn't mind this. He said final deadlift works at 145 kilograms. This seems heavier than 145. Mm -hmm. He's just <coughs> making it look heavy. What a drama queen. <laughs> so it would be nice to see a bar path tracking app on this because you would see it's very smooth off the floor. After just shit talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, sometimes yeah, it's crazy. nice to this one. <laughs> sometimes it's nice just to be like, oh, that's pretty. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're like, oh, look at how, how nice and straight that is. I mean, you can just look at it and go with straight, can't you? Yeah. yeah. Dude, look at this guy just flex in the background. Yeah, I know. Dude, he, I know. Oh, he man. Oh, shit. Ass. This is all the His way up. abs are shredded. Oh, my, my God. Have you, do you ever, do you ever try that stuff just for fun, Chase? You got to give it a try. Uh, no, I haven't recently. I think you just, gotta, just, just bust out a front lever. Just, <laughs> yeah. It's not as hard as you think. 
All right. How are you feeling about Robbie Mack, the 12th deadlift here in his squat diaper that he has going on? It's very rare to see the deadlift diaper when people do this. Normally, this is squats only. I do it too, man. So I know Robbie, you love the squat diaper. Like too. I love it. Dude. What are you talking? Oh, you talking about how he rolled? You just hike up your shorts. Up. Yeah. Yeah, you're like letting actually, everybody man. know. Wouldn't that actually hinder once the bar gets over your knees? Wouldn't that actually hinder you getting the bar up to to lock out? Like having to yeah, drag really. it up here. The way I, I roll it up, like it's it's pretty up high, so it's totally non consequential. I think. Yeah. Unless you're wearing like cargo shorts like thick canvas cargo shorts it doesn't yeah. matter that's that is what i normally <laughs> wear <laughs> yeah pockets all full the time. of, all full the of time. trading cards yeah <laughs> so i mean this really i wish we could have a little bit of a higher elevated camera angle here but mm -hmm. i have a feeling that he's forward a pretty good amount with the bar in, in relative you mean terms on the of toes the bit, exactly so he's like Right where like maybe hit the balls of the feet are, and he's just trying to muscle it up, mm -hmm. or it could be over the midfoot, which I highly doubt, and he's just losing back extension. But the the first kind of scenario what I'm talking about that makes more sense in my brain because again he has so much force now to overcome because he's off balance, and now his mm -hmm. back is just kind of losing, and he's trying to minimize that distance by folding his back in half essentially. Yeah, I don't mind the loss of back. To me, this just looks like something was just fucking heavy, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, sometimes you'll see people have this shift as it's coming off the floor. Like in some of Chase's recent pulls, actually, it sets in a perfect extension. And then as it's tensioning, as he's pulling the slack out of the bar, the slack is also coming out of your back. And then it mm -hmm. shifts into its final configuration. And then the bar starts moving. Um, this is kind of one of the tells that, you know, the, the deadlift is still relatively light you know, quote unquote light is that if the back stays in the exact same configuration as it breaks the floor. Um, so like chase, if he puts 500 on the bar, it may still feel heavy and it may get slow depending on what rep you're on, but his back isn't going to shift out of, you know, good extension before it even breaks the floor. Um, I think his shoulders are a little bit too far past the bar. Um, so I agree with you, chase that some of the, some of the reps, mm -hmm. I think he's getting a little bit too, too past first rep in particular, he kind of fixes it towards the end. Um, but overall, yeah. these are pretty clean, Robbie Mac. He's wearing the Gymshark gear, too, so that's pretty sick. We have a quad flex at the end there as well. Oh, oh man. So I'm, try I'm just trying to find a specific frame of what the guy in the background. So if you hang out around rock climbing gym, I don't well, know why either of you guys would be there. I mean, but this doesn't. position that this guy's in, do you yeah. see this? So he's. There are some guys who unironically can bat hang upside down off of their toes, it is the freakiest thing you'll ever see. That's so cool. It's like they just have the like strongest anterior tibialis in just <laughs> the world. But yeah, no, they'll, they'll do it for like, you know, 10, 15 seconds at a time. They're of course, you know, they're probably like mixed height, but you know, 140 pounds. They're oh, very yeah. thin guys. Um, Basically yeah. me. Yeah, just the front Bones of their shins, though. <laughs> yeah, the front of their shins are just like protrude. They just have like a jacked <laughs> front shin, which I think is a very noble goal. I would like that. Mm. All right, we got one from Nick Webb here. Oh, Nick Webb. We haven't seen him in a few weeks. He said deadlift 275 pounds. Do you remember this guy, Chase? I think so. He was the one who has like a metal pad in the middle of his squat rack. Uh, maybe I don't know. He has a furniture. He, we watched here, him have so. like a squat failure <clears throat> before, and he couldn't really sit back in extension. Maybe that sounds like a bunch of people, though. No, the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just described <laughs> yeah, like half the people. Uh, every loser. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, the guy had small calves and was a nerd. I'm like, oh, what am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> he has a moving dolly here, which may be practical application for uh for lifting weights i'm not sure so these are a stiff like a deadlifts dog mm -hmm. i guess that's unintentional though right he's yeah he's focusing so much on back extension that he's kind of forgotten the leg drive yeah he did say this is his deadlift so gotcha mm -hmm. yeah so i would recommend kind of working through the you said of pushing the floor away. Um, one of the things that you'll see here is if someone gets the bar past their knees without actually extending their leg, extending their leg, if it looks like their knee angle, their their knee angle is just anchored in space, 
but their the bar kind of raises their torso kind of rotates around it um that's more or less kind of the stiff like a deadlift um mm -hmm. so what i like to say is you know you know you get tight to the bar you pull the slack out like he he's a little bit a little bit extra forward well i think later in the set he gets into a better position but once you're here think about pushing the ground away with your legs and then dragging the bar so drag the bar up your legs push the floor away do those things simultaneously um because he's getting to he's getting to here and you'll notice He's almost entirely behind the bar. His knees are still bent where he should be kind of pushing forward a little bit more, pushing his hips through. Do you think this guy's a case where you would actually tell him to, to drop his hips a little bit? I would. Because mm -hmm. that's at the start, like his shin, his shin angle, it's super vertical. And, yeah. you know, he can't produce any knee extension because of how straight his shin is. So that's why he's just picking it up with his, with his back. So like what I kind of look for is like, I call it the deadlifting triangle. So the point relative of like his elbow to his knee where that is touching, making sure that, you know, the knee isn't past the elbow or forward. Um, and then that kind of creates another, you know, two little points with, yeah, the, the shoulder blade um, right over the bar. And then where your hip crease is, depending on- Can you guys see me bar. drawing on the screen? No, mm. I don't see a drawing, but oh damn! All right, just kind of went know. over it with your mouse. I can see you right. outlining with your mouse, though. Okay, no, no, no. I, I have a little drawing software, but I think it doesn't technically <clears> share. <throat> um, but yeah, so the triangle that um, Chase was explaining—that's really good. That would make a good video, man. If you can get, mm -hmm. you can uh, yeah. get someone who has some nice anthropometry and is not that fat to help demonstrate <laughs> and be like, "Look at yeah. the clean lines." <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, yeah, hips too high, um, stiff like a deadlift. And then let's see. I don't know if we did this one with Keith P or not. Oh no, this okay. This is a new one from our friend Keith Penis. We have Dick Dago and Keith Penis. This is actually going pretty well, I think, for us. So I've got some notes from this guy. Okay, Keith P. Keith P. Keith um, Five weeks on NLP. Five reps squat started at two twenty five pounds. Five reps squat today three fifteen. Really try to adjust the stance, bar position, and posture based on your feedback from the last. Check. Okay. So he's squatting in the safeties now. That's good. Last time he was almost behind mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. That's true. I hope to attain this level of a power gut at some point in my life. <laughs> I don't know when it will happen, but I think it will be very powerful. It's going to be like one of those bodybuilder abs where you're still ripped, but it's just still completely pushing out oh yeah nice. just Ooh. <laughs> very decent oh okay yeah we're doing doing second angle here all right so that's that's the i guess this almost the second bottom most frame we'll try to pause it at the, in the next one is this a high bar squat yeah all right chase is that depth yeah i would say okay yeah so agreed he's definitely a depth um, and the landmarks that we look here, by the way, people, um, it's going to be the crease of the hip. Um, the crease of the hip is a little bit ambiguous um, in some ways, kind of depending on uh, how much tissue the, the person actually um, has tapped on there. Uh, what I like to picture, I know everybody pictures this a little bit differently. I know Jason and I have talked about this before, so interested about refreshing his take. What I'm looking for is the greater trunk ranger of the femur. I basically kind of imagine where the, the hip joint itself is. So we have the acetabulum of the pelvis that the, kind of the femur sockets into, and then the head of the femur kind of that shoots out to the side. Like if you feel the side of your hip, that bone right there, that's what I'm looking for. And to me, that's basically right about there. So if it's declined and it's below the knee, I'm like, all right, your boy's at depth. Um, Chase, what do you look for when you're determining if something like this is at depth or not? <clears throat> Mainly I'm looking at the angle. Um, I'm not really looking at a specific point, but really just all of the thigh segment. Um, mm -hmm. Granted, if it, you can kind of see if it's parallel, kind of kind of makes a right angle um, with the knee and the knee joint, it's really open. But um, another way I kind of think about it too is, is the pockets going a little bit lower top of the knee or like right where the shirt kind of lays right on top of like the, the upper thigh, making that go below the knee. That's usually what I look for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like the, the the literal hip crease. The clothing helps a ton. Like if someone has Adidas sweatpants on, you're like, sick. Mm -hmm. you know? It'd be just so much easier if everyone just did this stuff naked for you guys. I'm just saying. Unironically, yeah, it would be. Mm -hmm. if they drew like a line, like a blue line on the side of their, their body. Yep. Yeah. Just get a tattoo. Yeah. Just go, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Back when I was, I had a home gym. Um, I used to just squat oh, in my underwear. No. It was so easy to tell. So easy. When I was reviewing my own film, 
I was like, oh man, easily a dope. You can wear a shirt? No, hmm. no, just shirtless <laughs> undies. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, oh, I've got my room in this guy's place. <laughs> Damn it, that was uh, supposed to be between us, man. Kate, this is the, the cuck shed. This is what it is. Oh, this Nick. is literally the cuck Nick. shed. Don't reveal our secrets, man. <laughs> uh, it's who do you, you think, your who do you think's the daddy in this relationship? Just, you know, if you had to guess. Yeah, hopefully this next time we'll, we'll say Mick's wife's son's room is what it's going to say. <laughs> what kind of car is this, guys? Big thing. I don't know. We haven't even talked about his form. We're over here just like. Oh, that's true. We'll go back to the. <laughs> yeah. We haven't even touched on the Christmas lights that he's got up. Uh, but all right, all right, Chase, hit us up with the form. What's going on with the form? Um, dude, definitely, you got to get better shoes. I mean, these are just tennis shoes, and you are walking on marshmallows. And you can already see how bad they deform and they wobble. I think this is kind of fucking up um, a bunch of stuff in the bottom. So you'll shoot forward. You're rocking on your toes. You're trying to rock back onto your heels. Just again, trying to find that midfoot and then this is kind of disrupting the back angle so you're driving your chest out of the bottom instead of your hips and you can't really lean over as effectively because again you're off balance so i mean at this point you know try to go for some shoes if you can or just go shoeless um mm -hmm. and squat with your bare feet yeah so a lot of people they they won't notice this kind of in their own because they'll fast forward right to the point where they start the first rep as opposed to watching the whole unrack um, one of the great things about coaching in person is that you can see these things. If you're coaching online, you have to see, you know, kind of the extended setup. Almost everybody, for some reason, thinks they need these little foam pads. You go to Home Depot, they're EVA foam. You get them a pack of like six or seven for like 20 bucks, something like that. Um, look at how much everybody just pay attention to the bottom of his shoes and the floor as he walks this out. So he probably weighs 250 to 270 and he has 315 on his back. And then just look at how much his foot is going to be shifting around inside of it. And then how much both the floor and his shoe kind of deform. And you'll see them kind of wave back and forth as the squat is going on. Um, we don't want it to be like that. You know, we want hard, non-compressible soles of the weightlifting shoe. Um, and the concrete is not going to get fucked up, you know. So just just take the pads away. Um, yeah. Yeah, no reason to have those there. The rest of it's spot on, though. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Any, any other parting shots for uh, Kihi P? Just um, kind of evaluate your setup here, man. I mean, you got plywood mm -hmm. that you can always go with, stand on top of. You're worried yeah. about the concrete getting fucked up. I bet he's also and deadlifting on this shoes. as well. Yeah, when you mm. deadlifting in these shoes and then on foam, I don't know if you've tried it, um, but it is terrible. It basically just yeah. kind of feels like you're on a BOSU ball the entire time. Um, so that's kind of the big thing to solve. All right, so it's now time. Do you guys remember what it's time for? What's on the task list? Uh, we should have queued up. We should have we should have queued up some time. theme music and stuff for it. Could oh, be like man. a weekly little clip. All right, hold on. We gotta. So this is the only reason why I'm still on. <laughs> That's it. Hey, we've got a new okay. uh, pin. Starting strength gym locations. Nice. Oh, sick! By Someone's Schner. doing stuff. <laughs> hell yeah! He's, okay. Someone's doing stuff. What the hell? Mm -hmm. Welcome to starting strength. Start here to learn about this up. Oh, perfect. Someone made a sticky. Oof, amazing. All right. All right. So this gentleman named uh, Kev Zumba posted a 265-pound form check from presumably his college gym. We'll see how this goes. How do you know what the college gym? They just look like this. Yeah. That's just what they, they have a bunch like. of like hammer equipment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like racks that are like monstrously overbuilt but still have the shittiest hooks <laughs> in the world. They have yes. like the giant deformed J hooks that you can never bench out of. They're hard to even squat out of. Dude, this is going way better than I expected. Yeah, it's actually not that big of a train wreck. I was going to be fucking, you know, steam engine on steam engine blowing <laughs> <It's> a... <laughs> up. Uh, when's the last it's time there's been a front to front train collision? I know they that derailed. Was like you think they'll ask the last the ETH? <laughs> yeah, no, this was this was way better than I expected. All right, uh, anything I would change here, I would say maybe consider going slightly wider in the stance as your squat matures over time. Um, you know, you have relatively long legs, and your frame is going to fill out a lot as you get larger. So, if with an extra forty pounds of body weight, you may not need to you know widen it out um, once you get like some legs on you and an actual torso. Um, stance maybe yeah. a little bit too narrow. What's up? Oh, sorry, sorry, keep going, sorry, keep going. 
Um, stance maybe a little bit too narrow over the long term. That's like a three, four year thing. Um, hip drive came out of the bottom. He was on the midfoot. Anything you want to touch on, Chase? I'd actually make him over a little bit more. I think he's kind of getting into his knees too much. Um, just mm-hmm. think about instead of going straight down, just kind of sitting back a little bit into your hips and I think we'll fix a lot of this stuff. Mm-hmm. Do you think anyone shit on him? What oh, do you reckon they're going to say? Uh, we, 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 should take, we should actually take a guess of what the comments are going to be. Okay, so here we go. So the OP says he's been dealing with left shoulder pain and bicep pain near the elbow. I brought my grip in about a hand's width, but still getting some pain. Bench in progress or bench in, uh, progress is being affected. Any tips would be, oh, it's a chest flexibility thing. <laughs> and the pain is called golfer's elbow. Okay, yeah, we have like 80 Bafillion articles on this. This is actually not that egregious. Mm-hmm. We're off to an excellent start, guys. Uh, I'm not nauseous not or at upset all. at all. <laughs> all right, so here's here's the – this is incognito mode. He says, yeah, you yeah, said you weren't going to take a out. steady break and put our beans in things. Yet here we are. Students save over 60% on Adobe Creative Cloud. Truly amazing. All fun. right, here we go. Joey333. He's the 333rd oh, good. Joey. Now, this is not college gym. College gyms generally don't have anything motivational on the wall. What you, if you had to guess what the um, what that little slogan was? I mean, it's definitely an excuse. It says no excuse. Like, like no excuse, yeah. Make an excuse yeah. and go home. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, no excuses, no matter what. Never, always get 400%. Wake up at 4 a.m., have a cold shower, things like that. Mm-hmm. All right, now this is kind of the train wreck that we come here for. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, let's try and take a guess of what we think the comments are going to be. There's two comments, so they probably just say, read the, watch the video, you fucking mong. All right. Go mad, you loser. <laughs> okay, so it's recommend you review number three from the rules. All these were high, blah, blah, blah. Cheers, many thanks for the feedback. Everybody being so cordial to each other, this is wonderful. Uh, um, I think we need to scroll down a bit in the Reddit to get, you know, these ones are probably pretty new. We need to get ones that have got like, you know, 20 and 30 comments. Okay, <clears throat> so I sort of by hot. Just scroll down. Okay, all right, here we go. This one's four comments. That's four terrible. comments. Nah. We got to find the Joker society. Does any girl, who, any girl who posted a form check in here will have a hundred comments? That's not Joker. So. Oh, yeah, that's true. I'm just looking for the guy, the gentleman. Oh, this is an interesting one. This is from some sort of European hellhole. We'll see. <laughs> this is. There's moon runes here. This is from the this first Arbor Sita of 2022. <laughs> I think this is one of those like Afghani gyms that they they took over at the end, and the guys in the <laughs> yeah started fucking this around. Is, though. This is just yeah, a Russian like, soldier. Oh, what is this even? <laughs> no, this is a Russian soldier who's just deep in Ukraine. He's training, right now and he's just yeah, training he's in just, his, like, on his hour guys. lunch break on the gulag. Yeah, he's like, hold on, everybody, before we get keep getting blown up by modern weaponry, we're gonna we're gonna get some dubs in. <laughs> These racks, even it's like even, even these racks, they're basically just kind of they're made by someone who was like, ah, fuck it, that'll work. You know what I mean? <laughs> like everything in anytime I see a European gym, they're just made by like, some sort of like vote. They knew like no one's gonna like, actually squat that heavy. It's like, like hey, yeah, so this works like, for like, someone who's like six days. three or you know five four. <laughs> 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 like Chase can squat on the top one, I'll squat on the bottom one. <laughs> That's basically what would happen. All right, well, how would we help this gentleman out? Oh shit, man! Um, There's a give lot. Him a green card. Yeah, <laughs> I'd say you'd probably take down some weight. Um, getting your eyes set about where the floor and the the wall meet, and think about your belly button just pointing down to the floor on the way down and up as you squat. So this is about the deepest that he got right there. So he's still, I would say, about three inches high at this point. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, because we can kind of see me here hip crease-ish femurs there that needs to go deeper um the the head up thing i truly cannot come up with a good justification for keeping the head that that far up unless you have like a massive weight on the bar where your head's balance doesn't actually impact midfoot balance um but in this position he's just cranking his head up and he'll there's no way in hell he's ever going to lean over enough you know um so like there's some like naked chick in the building across and he's just like you know, I got to squat and also look. He's at watching out for the, the terrorist Nazis in Ukraine is what it is. Mm-hmm. He's watching. He might just be case. distracted by the wood paneling around the wall. I would like it if starting strength did wood paneling halfway up the walls of franchise <laughs> gyms. I would not mind that. Could you do wood paneling in the Oklahoma gym? 
I mean, we don't have to talk about it. I think we could do it. You got to ask Ray. You got to reach out to the franchise people. And just put like one dingy rack like that in the corner. Yeah. All right. Here we go. We got C Jelly. Uh, did my first PR did. today. That's pretty sick. How's the form? Any free advices? Let's find out. Oh, here we go. So it's don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. Be your own hero. And just the dude flexing in the darkness. That's awesome. <laughs> anytime that I'm anytime that I'm very lean, that's what I'm doing constantly. Any free minute of the day that I don't have something in my flexing hands. Flexing in the dark. Yeah, just in a closet by myself. <laughs> <laughs> just getting fucking pumped up. Do you make your wife like put the oil all over you as well? When you is that a thing? No, she is short. Is that too much? Is that too much? Dated photos. What's that? She's the most pathetic person in the world about it. She doesn't give a shit. She gives. If, if she did give a shit, it would be even worse. It would be insane. That would be like uh, that would be Chris Benoit like resting, moving your family to death. Tears of insanity. <laughs> Yeah, imagine if Phoebe was like, Chase, you need to get another five-pound PR or I'm going to burn the house down. It would, it would not go well. <laughs> Christ, it would not go well at all. You would get like 20 pounds in your deadlift and then die. But what yep. How does she feel about you lifting, Chase? I mean, how, is she like impressed with it or is it just like, yeah, whatever? Does she this fangirl is, over you? No, no, she doesn't. Mm. She doesn't really give a fuck. I mean, it's just like, hey, yeah, it's Chase. He's training. He's whatever. Or just don't talk yeah to him i think that's how it has to be <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you got the dream chase you live in the dream <laughs> she's like oh what you pressed 450 over your head <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll see you now. <laughs> yeah is that good yeah i, yeah, I guess I don't mm -hmm. know. is that a lot yeah oh, man all right so how do we feel about sea jelly 30 out six here there's a lot this of plate spin yeah, I mean, the floor looks shitty, but other than that, man, this looks pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, this was another very pleasant surprise here. We'll see uh, what the comments say. Stop on yourself in the mirror by Blades of Chaos. God, fuck. <laughs> damn, oh, that's so sick. I wish I still had the, the geniality inside of me to make a good online username <laughs> like that. I'd never be Look able to type shit talking. That. By first PR, do you mean your second workout? <laughs> <laughs> uh, every Damn. workout should be VR. Why was this your first? What the fuck? Oh, this God, is Joka. This is. is our boy. This is our boy, Yoka. All right, here we go. Um, <clears throat> all right, that's, that's a little bit too ESL for me to read. I'll, I'll, I can't do it. Oh, man, this goes on for a while. Joka, what a warrior. Very nice. Yeah, oh, this is God. what I'm talking about. It keeps going. All right. He said a back strain since February. He took a rest from mid-June to mid-July. Got it there, so I thought of hitting a PR today. There you go, buddy. Well, good job, man. All right. Yeah, good job, man. Oh, just gain just 85 crush your abs. pounds. Oh, I love it when people do this. Well, this is like an agent, I just hope, agent asking for form checks or what? I just hope the guy just looks like Zoolander and he's just magnificently beautiful. And he's like, people just get distracted when they look at me because I'm just <laughs> so <laughs> fucking hot. Or it just could be completely hideous. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh please, you know, pull your back from there. All right, good. All right. Yeah, I thought he was going to start the poll from. I, I did too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he still might. He still might. This is a struggle. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. He's getting oh, there. It's just painful. All right, so here we go. He's been struggling with the deadlift. I do three reps at 225. Then I feel like I am, uh, feel like my back can't get tight enough, so I stopped. Um, my deadlift is lagging behind my squat. 253 by 5 below parallel, so I suspect a form issue. And this was posted by Deadlifter two days ago. Yeah, this is a college as well. This is an 18-year-old man in college. All the cool people are off getting drunk at, they call them keggers. Is that a thing? I think yeah, it's just called go a college. It's just called <laughs> a party. Guys go to college? <laughs> <laughs> I, I get most to... of my American references from, from Porky's and Revenge of the Nerds. <laughs> I went to <laughs> too much college, I think. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So how would you help this man who is struggling with figuring out how straight his back is supposed to be, Chase? I'd put him into the rack. Um, just make him rack pull. So clearly at this range of motion, um, it being a on the floor he cannot set his back with a damn so if it's a little bit higher let's say about like just below the knees see on the way down he's kind of hanging on to it 
Um, so like around the knee area, that's probably a good starting place. And then once he's able to hang on to that contraction, uh, maybe like a week of doing that at that specific height, we're going to gradually work him down to where he's off the floor. Yeah, because he doesn't like there are positions here where it's relatively unloaded and it's not the end of the mm-hmm. world. You know, like it's, it's it's decently flat and you just kind of figure it out. I think the stance may be a little bit too narrow. I would actually widen this mm-hmm. up a bit. Um, widen it up a bit, shove your knees out a little bit more, help dissipate some of the, the femur length. Um, but like Chase was saying, it's like, I mean, like, hey, man, you're having a hard time pulling from the floor right now. Just just get in a rack and then figure it out and work your way down from there. It's not the end of the world. Um, 18 mm-hmm. comments. Oh, my God. Holy shit, dude. Okay. There's an exercise in the book, squat chapter, I believe. This seems to be the squat uh, where you lie on the floor and lift your thighs up while feeling your lower back to understand how to set your lower back. Okay, that that was written interestingly. I would focus on learning how to set your back into extension. He has a squat hinge exercise where you start standing up at attention. All right, dude, I can't do that. All right. Uh, I hurt my brain just reading the little nonsense. Hey, man, if you watch me try to type in a different language, it would be bad, too. Okay. Yeah, Chase. Chase, can you speak any other languages? Can you speak German or something? Or some sort of no. original Persian Aryan? No. Nothing? Okay. I'm trying, I'm trying to learn Spanish? I, um, I'm trying to learn Icelandic, but um I can, Oh dude, I that'd be sick. Of, I know a little bit of some lettering, but other than that, that's it. Are you gonna try to do like stolen valor from Iceland and just move there and be like I was here the whole <clears> time? Yeah, be like, dude, I've been native all the, all this time. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know they all speak English, right? You don't really need to learn another language. Yeah, but I need to have someone of an accent. Uh, okay, yeah. I think yeah, like you have Texas accent, though. Mm-hmm. Again, yeah, be like, just howdy, gonna... ma'am. And they'll be like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, whoa, here we go. <laughs> all my dreams are coming true. Okay. Yeah, dude, the <laughs> Icelandic summer. project would be sick. Yeah, yeah. I th- I'm, I'm all in favor of that. All right. Why did I lift in shoes? Blah, 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 blah. Powerliftingtechnique.com. Oh, Let me Ooh, power every lifter I know what the damn pulls it up. Yeah, do you see that? yeah, every lifter worth a damn, I guess. Throwing in an... I love it whenever this happens, whenever people... Uh, they're just like, man, I read the, the the argumentative and logical fallacies quick posts, so now I can start putting You're these things in. Be like, oh, throwing in an ad hominem, it isn't necessary. I don't think he called him an idiot. He said, okay, and therefore this must... You're simply not very intelligent. Okay, that was just straight up. Ad hominem by Schnur Schnur. That was that was. I thought he was talking about the the lifter lifter worth a damn. Don't get argument. Blah blah. blah. We don't do sumo here. We don't do sumo here. Man, this is quite the hill to die on. How do you feel about this hill, Chase? And would you like to die on it? The the shoe hill for deadlifts. Dude, I mean, clearly this has nothing to do with if this guy were to wear stilettos or fucking if he dug a hole that was five inches deep, like. He can't set his fucking back, and yeah, shoe wear is is not going to affect this one bit. It's a oh man, it's one of the it's one of the interesting things where people they'll just kind of focus in on a point and they'll just attempt just to be right on the internet as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Um, Where it's like the issue is not necessarily the the, this this quarter inch, that quarter inch there is not the issue. It's not the issue at all, you know. Um, And then here's the thing is that. What was that, Mick? Oh, sorry. Go. No, go on, go on. You were going to say something intelligent, and I was just shit talking, so go on. Oh. <laughs> One of the things that people don't realize is that even wearing a Chuck Taylor, do you want to know what happens to Chuck Taylors over a period of time of wearing it? The front of the shoe gets a little bit smaller, and the back of the shoe stays where it is because the back of the shoe has more support in it. It still has a slight incline to it. Unless you're wearing a specialized deadlift slipper or no shoe at all, it's it's it'll be it'll, it'll be relatively flat. And another crazy thing is that certain people have different arches to their feet, Right. So some people may be pulling at a slightly different angle than other people as well. You'll see some people who just have these weird kind of gross ankles where it just looks like their foot is like falling into the side. You know what I'm talking about, Chase? Oh, yeah, yeah that's, that's gross. gross. Yeah, it just looks like the medial malleolus of the ankle or of the of the ankle is basically just hanging completely over the foot and it's just yeah, all the nice. way on the outside. And then you're like, okay, buddy, you know, don't pull in shoes, and then the guy's foot is rolling to the inside constantly. Yeah. You know? His knees are touching and, together. And you're like, listen, man, unless you, you know, fucking wear a pull, uh, pull in your Chuck Taylors, you'll never pull 900. And it's like, he's trying to pull 230. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> give him a break, separate, please. It's a separate issue. 
<laughs> oh man. Okay. Uh, I love those arguments though. People just getting getting real weaned up about uh, shoes and the deadlift. This one's actually pretty good. Velvet Thunder Seventeen. Come on, it's another excellent name. Nice. Mm. Velvet Thunder. Chase, if you, I bet if you started to try to go by that in public, people would call you that. If you just started wearing velvet like velvet, thunder. I'm soft yeah. yet hard. Whenever I can be. Yeah, I wouldn't like. I don't think anyone would question <laughs> that. If you were like, that's been my nickname since high school. I'd be like, okay, that's fine. I sort of wonder with this, like he's lifting on these pads, which has raised the bar on the platform. Bit. Yeah, on the platform, is this Jim like saying he can't deadlift heavy? That's got to be the only reason I can see for doing it like that. I don't know. No, they got like proper plates, man. proper bar, proper equipment, but then you can't make that noise. The only generous interpretation here is that it could be uh, the platform has divots in it because old platforms will get divots in the middle and he just doesn't want to pull off the pull out of those kind of holes in the middle. All right, so he weighs 65 kilos. We can see that. Um, he's pulling 60 kilos, training for one month. I'm worried if I'm using too much lower back and too little hams and glutes. Um, you've heard sense like this before chase right yes okay how do you address this with someone who is like i feel like i'm using my lower back too much and i'm not using the things that move my lower back in space i mean you can go into like the basic anatomy and be like look man these muscles all attach to you know various locations that are operating this joint um but again that, that kind of doesn't satisfy them and you kind of have to just kind of grab onto the muscle and be like look i don't want you to contract this or just don't think about using this. And then notice that their hamstrings are fucking contracting as they're pulling. Like, they have to. Mm -hmm. And then from there, they're just like, I don't to say because, you I, you know, I thought everything wasn't working. It's like, no, dude, yeah. you just need to gain more weight and you'll see those muscle bellies in size. Mm -hmm. it's yeah it's very interesting that people will think like the 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 immediate perception of what's happening it's like the deadlift for example like if, like if you were to cut your palm and then you're like well the deadlift's really a hand exercise because of how much i'm feeling my hands during the deadlift <laughs> being like hey you're feeling your lower back because you know you're holding it in in isometric tension but the lower back can't move the deadlift it just can't move the deadlift. you know the glutes and the hamstrings are moving the deadlift mm -hmm. um but for velvet thunder the future porn star here um Hopefully this guy's just donged out. That would be great, amazing. I really yeah. want that for him. Um, yeah, just men supporting men. But, uh, but that would be great. Um, yeah, but once he gets his deadlift up to 150 kilos, it's not going to be a problem. Um, mm -hmm. Ooh, increase profits in any economy. Mm. You got to have a jaw like this, Chase. You got to figure out how to face Max. Is that uh, Tony Robinson or what's his name? Um, yeah, Tony Robbins. Yeah, Tony Robinson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never watched or listened to anything. I just know he's just kind of a business meme. Do you guys know anything about Tony yeah. Robbins? He's a, he a self-help guru mouth. or something. Mm. <laughs> he's just man with largest face. Charismatic I feel like me and him could say the same thing in exactly the same tone and the same complete gestures and no one would listen to me. I would totally believe him. It's Do you just have the one of these things in, in your pocket? <laughs> look how crisp no, and clean so this guy looks. He looks sharp. I know. Yeah. God. And look at your fucking hat, Mick. What do you think is going to happen? Yeah, you just like we haven't found uh, Joka Ings. Joke Ings. How do I do that? Uh, who cares? Can we look? All right, oh, here we go. How do you I? Might log, you might have to log in to search. All right, here we go. You Ings slash Ings. Joka Ing. Here we go. Where do we, we just zero, got to find zero comma. <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm always baffled when americans claim their life is not sustainable here we go if they have a job they're oh man this is fucking odd i hope he's just my yes. socialist brother all you're right just, typically if the processed food is a, he's all over the place with these boards all right in my country the death of a family member means a five-day leave all right anti he's an anti <laughs> Somehow i read that in the voice of borat home depot in mental health <laughs> nutrition, nutrition nutrition how old is this post joker sao paulo ah here it is okay <clears throat> nope, never mind. I lied, everybody. False alarm. All right. He's posting in other people's things. I need to figure out where his post is. Old actually, I think you can actually Canada. filter it by post versus replies, can't you? Ah. Mick, you're amazing at this. Conditioning for intermediates. Oh, there we go. Please bash my terrible stress. Poker by Joka Ng. Oh, dude, this was seven days ago, and he was just hoping we would stumble across. Yeah, it would be to like page 73 <laughs> of the red. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. That's not strict. That's not a strict press. That's not at all. Oh, 
I do love whenever shirts get this hole in the armpit, though. You guys know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, Chase, how would you help this gentleman strict press? I mean, Joe could do like, you got to separate the hip movement for each rep. And what I mean by that is after you get done with the first one, put them down and let's reuse our hips. Um, from here, like, you just kind of moved your shoulders back. You didn't really think about the lower body going forward. So the bend in your mind is going to be lower. So, like, your pockets going forward, your ass cheeks hitting the wall in front of you, stuff like that. Because right now you're just kind of laying back and hoping for the best. Uh, squeeze your abs. Um, move in the grip a little bit, too, because it seems to be wide. And from there, mm -hmm. just, again, focus on the hips. Yeah, so if someone was attempting to do a strict press, what do you define as strict when it comes to a press, Chase? Does that mean like someone who's doing no layback at all? Yeah, I mean, basically no movement except for the arms. Yeah, and by the way, if you can press... So my best lifetime press ever was 215. My best strict press, I think, very strict, was 165. Like the strict <clears throat> press to actual overhead mm -hmm. press relationship is abysmal. It's not yeah, like, it doesn't help at all. yeah, it, it's, it's, it's almost, it, I don't want to say two different lifts. Of course, they're, they're very, they're very samey. There's a lot of carryover, things like that. Mm -hmm. Um, but the percentage that you, you think that you'll get out of a strict press, it's not, it's not as much as you think. Um, so like Chase, if you were to like strict, strict press, how much do you think you could do as compared to what you do on the top end with like, Dude, probably oh, like 225 to 30, somewhere around there. Yeah. And then for the record, Chase has pressed almost double that over his head before. Yeah. That's how fucked up it is. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, I would fix the grip to start. Um, widen your stance and then really lock everything in. Once it's tight, then you can start working on that hip movement that we recommend. Let's see mm -hmm. the comments. Looks pretty good to me. You're fucking wrong, Castro. All right. Um, <laughs> should learn the press 2.0. Looks like a reasonably tough set. Oh, he's calling out the, the intern. He's cool. sure, sure enough. Do you have some feedback? Oh, Looks like you're having trouble controlling the bar path. A yes, indeed, sister. Um, you should have a... I love comments like this. <laughs> oh, Lo-Fi Mongoose said, you should have a bigger back. What do you mean? Your spine looks... <laughs> Your spine <laughs> looks inward. curved That's inward right. like you have no back holding it up. Maybe it's because I was breathing at the top. That is not it. Could be. Good eye. I didn't even spot that. Not a good eye. I was there. LOL. <laughs> I love how someone has completely kind of invalidated their own uh, ar initial argument. Like he's conceded, and then you're like, and you continue to ask them for advice. That's interesting, Joka. That is very interesting. I'm going to start commenting this on Chase's posts. Any Instagram? I started doing that on some of Chase's posts on Instagram yeah. just to troll people. Uh, you should have a. Dude, some people actually that. call you out, making it so funny because I know, I know. I mean, it's all butthurt. Well, I can't remember what I said. I think I said something like. What, what did I say last time? You, I think you did something. I like said you shoot. need to drop your hip. Yeah, no, I yeah, think yeah. I said something on your on your on your one of your power cleans. I said, oh, you should drop your hips more like the Olympic weightlifters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you should get a proper Olympic weightlifting coach. <laughs> oh man. Uh, oh, not your bro sixty nine, dude. Another amazing name. How are these people coming up with these? Is the spark really that gone for my life? All right. Not your bro sixty nine. He's in uh, Converse, so he should be pulling 900. But also his heel is slightly lifted off the ground, which is another thing people forget about Converse. Is that because of the um, the high tops of the shoes? Don't allow no, it's because people walk around in them, so and people heel strike uh, when they walk. So the back of the shoe gets rounded yeah, and deformed. Yeah. Um, people just don't think about that. <clears throat> so they're like, oh, man, Converse, amazing. But your heel is fucking off the ground. Um all right, Chase, what do you think about these guys' squats? And keep in mind, he is not your bro. So if you call him something, call him something else. Dude, this guy is going to have some fucking fucked up knees here in the foreseeable future if you keep <laughs> squatting like this. So right there, he's bouncing off his knees. This is what we call knee slide. Um, so you're going to have to do the opposite of how you're going down. So right now, you're focusing on leaning over, then the knees. Um, you actually probably need to bend the knees first and then lean over. Um, we really want your hips and knees to bend all at the same time. But for you, you're going to think about knees freezing right over the toes and then making your pecs fall right over your knees. So everything being in line from your pecs, your kneecaps to your toes. Yeah, that's beautiful. I love that. 
Yeah, get the knees over the toes, have the pecs fall right in the knees. Um, essentially, you know, he's having a, his knees are hit our terminal position at a different point on every single rep. Um, mm-hmm. You will condition to it over time, but, you know, like uh, eventually it's going to the point where it's going to catch up to you because either you're going you're gonna to feel your good morning everything because your uh, your knees aren't in position or you'll just kind of hit a wall with the squat and you'll be like, oh, man, why can't I figure out how to fucking get this things up? Um, yep. It's because your, your quads aren't as contributing as much as they should. Um, we just had a really good video about this. Um, on the starting strength YouTube, I forget what it's called. Um, Steve it's, Ross, it's, right? Yeah, it was Steve Ross. Um, by the way, have you seen that guy in person, Chase? He's pretty fucking tall. You, have you seen him, or are you just hearing about this? No, I've seen him in person. Okay, like he's like once six six. Yeah, he's pretty fucking giant. His head is as large as my torso. It's insane. Big old Absolutely boy. Absolutely insane. Um, yeah, no, I saw him originally at the first platform exam I opted in in Boston in twenty nineteen. No, twenty yeah, twenty nineteen. Um, and I just never. I have, I don't think I've ever felt more like an un, like a subhuman than I ever did ever. <laughs> I was like, man, I'm five one. I weigh thirty six. This guy is <laughs> six six two fifty. Pretty lean. It was awesome. Um, did Rip still still tell him he was underweight? Unironically, Rip said, imagine how cool you would be if you were 315 pounds. <laughs> yeah, it's, it sounds like a ripper. 308 or some shit like that. Yeah. 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 Alright, hit me with your feedback. 130 kilos times 3. Only 2 in the video, so there's a third mystery rep, I suppose, by Fucked Sauce. Another amazing name at 90 kilos body weight. <laughs> I like whenever people add in their body weight, like it makes a difference. Yeah. I think I I don't know what that is. I think that's kind of powerlift wankery with like one oh, yeah, score and dot score. You know, it's like we don't we can kind of see how large you are. You know, like the guy who was like I weigh sixty kilos. We were like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're you all of sixty kilos. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to be a hundred kilos and, and sneak up on us. Well, this is a very powerlift area and deadlift here, right? Yeah. Yeah. How would you change this, Chase? If you had to help fuck us here. Fuck sauce, man, you got to fix your stance. Um, I would click in your heels a little bit. Um, keep your toes where they are, but essentially you need your stance to where your heels are underneath your hips more. Um, and then from here, you're going to load your, your your hips right before you pull. So there, not bad, but you're, I think you're still a little bit forward. Kind of get your ass mm-hmm. up some, and that's going to help this a lot. Yeah, I think he's certainly forward. I mean, like, you're, if it's 130 at 90, it, this is still relatively light for you i would say like if this was 150 you could get it off the ground but it would have to move backwards like the shin angle is too inclined here and you are a little bit forward yeah this is kind of when people say squatting the deadlift up this is a lot of times what they're thinking about um or this is the end result of that excuse me um but i would say like if this was heavy if this was like near zero reps in reserve near rpe 10 near failure um we would have to see some deviations here technically um, I think some people, they just kind of always pull light and they always pull with this sort of form and they can never figure out how to truly get to failure. Can we find uh, one with a fair few comments? Oh, here we go. Injured my back two years ago, finally getting in the gym. Trying to start off right this time. Form check. All right. So this is a crunch, no judgment zone. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, we, we cannot judge your lifts. Yes. Put the 18 damn, other comments, Cam. Oh, God. It's like he's making it. This is kind of like, have you tried not making it painful? Have you tried doing that? <laughs> he's finally getting back in the gym, doing near failure yeah, pulls and screaming. <laughs> yeah, loads up 120 kilograms on the bar. And... <laughs> yeah, and screaming. Yeah. Is he screaming? Can you put sound on this? Can you guys hear this? Hear no. Uh-uh. He's no. actually screaming okay. there. Hold on, wait. Yes, he is. <laughs> it's kind of like um. Effect. It's kind of like you a ghostly whale almost. Doing. It's like uh, <laughs> you know, he is his, It's like he's dying a little bit inside of every rep. It's like, hey, I injured my back two years ago. I'm going to scream in pain during the reps. Um. Oh, the naive skeptic. Damn, this guy is a fucking Reddit pro. 71.7 comment karma 288 i don't know what this means i don't know what these parts mean i think this means the, the amount of updates that he comment. gets oh, okay 
I, I don't know. He's probably an anti-work as well. That'll be nice. Um, you can make basically any post about socialism on Reddit and you'll have that karma. Dude, I wish I could just spend all day being a little socialist witch on, on Reddit. Mm. That'd be amazing. <laughs> all right. Um, don't roll the bar away. You're not locking at. Look up to go up. <clears throat> oh, criticism aside, glad to see you're lifting. I love it when people, they're like, here's yeah, a list. You suck. Why Good you on you for doing it. Suck. <laughs> Here you go. 43 up, dudes. All right. Nice eye. Agree. Good catch. Men supporting men. Unclench your sphincter. <laughs> Walrus only. Wouldn't say four is minor. Are you only wearing socks? Ah, yes, he's completely naked apart from the socks. This is confirmed. Um, this is a troll. Oh, the new Alan Thrall video is so funny. It's literally, it's the same exact five-step setup, but instead of saying, place your shins one inch away from the bar. Guess what it says, Chase? It's like, what, two centimeters? No, he says, two place your shins one to two inches away from the bar. That's oh, it. one Ooh. to two. That's it. Gotcha. And then you're like, damn, <laughs> truly revolutionary. Updated the science. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we're, we're trusting, we've, we're following the science. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Hey, before I discovered SS, I was a skinny bro in college, proud of my 17-inch arms. 17-inch arms are actually quite big. Yeah. Chase, have you measured your arms? No. Okay, my arms are about 16, oh, 16 and a half. Go. Here we go. I'm at 16 and a half here. 17, so those are some decently sized. If you're just a kind of like, I mean, my grandma had bigger arms than I did. She had like some fucking 25 inch arms. Did she have those um, turkey flap things underneath? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Like, yeah, like Hulk Hogan had 20 inch arms, but like everyone's obese grandmother has larger arms than Hulk Hogan. Um, 20 inch <laughs> arms and four inch <laughs> cock by the looks of the video. Uh, stop penis shaming, man. We have a penis shame here. This is a men supporting men podcast. God. Shit, he's probably going to sue us as well, man. All right. So he says, then my boss during my internship called me a pussy and told me to go buy starting strength. <laughs> that should be right, front and center crazy. of the starting strength website. All right. He says, 60, all right, here we go. He says, six years later, my total has almost tripled and my lifts have never felt better. Nice. This is a weird post. Your total tripling go, in six years. Down. All right, we'll keep going. Go down one, and the guy actually posts some stuff, the original post on. All right, here we go. This is my last set of 3x5 at 225. I spotted a few issues already. I know it looks wrong, but I'm not exactly what it is. I hope y'all can put <clears> me <throat> in the right direction. Thanks, y'all. Uh, rock hand, rock hand. How much do people say y'all in uh, Oklahoma, Chase? Mm, is it a, a y'all state? Bit. It's, a, it's definitely a y'all state. Okay. Do you say it? Oh, yeah, all the time. Really? I think he's got a white ride. I think it's yeah. 220. I'm surprised. Than, okay. It was more than 225, that deadlift. No, it was... Uh, so in some of those uh, crunch fitness gyms, the red plates are 45 pounds. Oh, the blue plates are 35. That's just confusing. All right, the squat. This right, but, use, yeah, you non-Americans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do one more? Try and find the one with a lot of comments on it. Oh, here we go. Can we find a, a, a lady lifter? A lady lifter? Absolutely a not. This lifter. is a this is a total uh, Sharia law boys only. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, unable class. Do you guys want to watch unable classes, or no? should I move on from this one? Uh, I want to find one with a lot of comments. I don't think women post on this subreddit, buddy. <laughs> uh, there, there's our penis Italian friend, Dick Dago, again. Oh, uh, yeah. Mick Murder. Mick Murder, that's such a cool name. This is, a, this is an Australian guy for sure. That's oh, he's Australian in flip-flops, man. Yes, yes, please, for the love of God. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. This is uh, Australia. I can tell yeah. you right now, this guy's in Australia. All right, so How we'll, do you we'll know? see. Because we'll... of the flip-flops? It's, that, it's the wife, that colored wife beater and the thongs. We call them thongs in Australia. You guys call them flip-flops. This guy's dead set in Australia. You call them thongs? Yes, we do. Why do you call them Chase, thongs? did you know that? I did not know that. What do you call the the underwear? Uh, the thong screen. underwear. Wow, fuck. That's crazy. All right, so this guy doesn't even squat. He just says, my shoulders hurt. I can't get <laughs> under it. All right, just keep doing what you're doing. All right, this post was a total letdown. Hmm. Uh. 
I thought he was going to squat on his thongs. God All damn. right, and actually, never mind. I'm going to go back to this. Somebody said NASM and then CSCS. Here we go. <laughs> Admiral Unit 811. <laughs> Crazy Peck Deck or Peck Fly helped. Um, we live in a very internally rotated society while driving <laughs> computers and phones. I'm a certified physical therapist, certified. I love this. Uh, How, exercise. Are people specialist. driving like this? <laughs> just, just with thumbs down, they're driving. <laughs> I hold the phone up like this as I type. Yeah, I'm like calling this. somebody. Oh god. Yeah, who, is, who does this weird kind of orangutan gorilla posture here all the time? All right, so here we go. Actually, Chase, do you know these acronyms very well? Uh, I'm a certified CPT. I don't know what the fuck that means. Because I thought the C was certified. So this is a physical. That's how good this guy is. He's double certified. Oh, no, it's physical, uh, a personal trainer. I'm a certified, certified personal trainer, certified yeah. exercise specialist through the National Academy of Sports Medicine. Um, hanging, hang yourself, rotator cuff, external rotation. He just named a body part and then said that they can do something. TRX wise, so doing this. Um, TWs, face pulls, reverse flies are a good combo to treat and prevent shoulder problems. It's also very important to have a strong core. A weak core, believe it or not, can cause shoulder pain. That's fucking mm. sick. That blows my fucking mind. Chase, is your, do you have shoulder pain ever? You know, come to think of it, maybe. From my it could be core. because you don't have a strong enough <laughs> core. God, that's awesome. You need to do some Pilates, Chase. That's and so I actually did. I think did I, I, did I not tell you that? I actually did a class because we have a Pilates studio right next did to us. Did you this. break the machine and they go, no, you no, can't no. come so, back, man? <laughs> so this is what's happening is like a lot of the Pilates people are interested in, in what we do at the gym because everyone's not fucking getting strong at Pilates. So one chick came over and she's like blowing shit out the water. She's, I mean, she squatted 200 already. Like she's pulling some Sick. major weight. And she that's because we have a strong core from Pilates, isn't that's it? That's probably that's that. Probably that. It, yeah. Although all the small uh, rotator cuff shit that they do. But anyways, um, the people who were running the Pilates studio were kind of interested in, in mainly they're trying to cover their ass because a lot of these people want to leave and they want to come do our shit. So we went over there and we're like, hey, let's talk about maybe coordinating some stuff. Maybe, uh, you know, instead of us taking all your clients, we can maybe do like a strength class for them and then they come here and they can dance they do whatever the fuck they want to do on, on this reformer machine they call it a reformer what so is we went over there it, i don't know they just call it a reformer, reformer so we went machine? over there is it like a religious thing it sounds very religious but it's it's fucking cool because it feels like you're on a spaceship and you're just kind of like playing around <laughs> is it but this? um I w it's uh it's not it's that one yeah it's, it's kind of like that it doesn't have like the bungee pad space thing but this was more like sleek and all wood type shit but anyways i'm on it and you know whenever this chick was explaining like we, we had to do what that blonde chick is doing like with her legs up in the air we had to do that yeah oh, we were please that tell shit. me please tell me there's just photos sailing doing this chase no there's no please. photo because everyone was doing it I, I promise because otherwise phoebe phoebe would have posted uh, photos. We made sure there was no fucking photos. That we Dude, made those. Photos. It was the easiest fucking class, and I I'll never forget what the instructor was telling us. She's like, "Well, here at Pilates, we're trying to work here, the inner muscles, and then they project outwards." That was her explanation about. Like, you were like, "Yeah, these project today. outwards, bitch." Yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> "What are you talking about?" Um, she does a foam rolling class that is an hour long. How the oh. fuck? How? That Dude, blows that's my awesome. mind that you can do that for an that's, hour and be like, yeah, I'm going to charge you this amount of money for it. Do you know how much she charges not. if you're willing to say that on the internet? I don't know. I wouldn't ask her. I kind of laugh when she said that. You need to figure that out. Uh, it's probably fucking $200 <laughs> or some shit like that. It's some god-awful fucking money into it. And anyways, like, yeah, we're we're doing it and they're just like – so you see those those cords at the bottom, those springs? We had yeah, these like things? one – yeah, so you know they're they're just basically resistance because this thing slides and shit. And they had one on mine. I'm I'm fucking just moving this thing like around. And we had to do one of these where we're doing flies, right? Where she's like hugging. Are you getting the chest pump at Pilates? <laughs> yeah, dude. So um, we're doing it, and I'm like, this is really fucking easy. So I put like three of those bastards on. And she's like, I've never seen people do that. Usually two is the most we've. She twirling her hair. She's like, oh my god. No, this. <laughs> 
that's looking. But like, yeah, I'm just doing it and I'm just kind of you know, <laughs> fucking around. And um, and I'm I'm pretty flexible. I can do the splits. So like, we were doing stretches beforehand. She's like, "Are you sure? Like, you this is a safe area for you? Like, you know, whenever I was hiking, my <laughs> this legs is a safe are space for you." <laughs> and you know, I'm like, "Yeah." I'm, she was I'm worried flexible. that you're gonna shit yourself. Is probably what it was. She was like, yeah, basically. To... So like, she wrapped my leg around me. And, like, she's like, "Yeah, you should feel this in your IT band." I'm like, "I don't feel anything. Like, I feel this mainly in my glute, but like, my IT band is not screaming. Like, I don't know what you're doing." I mean, they were just, they were so flabbergasted that I didn't have a hard workout. They're just like, what do you, like, what do you do? I'm like, well, I just, I barbell train and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of strong. I've been doing this for a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, and this, the strength is the most general adaptation. It makes whatever the fuck we're doing on these performer machines way easier. Dude, <laughs> these ladies like look like they're having <laughs> such a good time. Dude, it, it is so silly. Look at this. <laughs> this is awesome. These are pretty advanced contraptions, I'm going to be honest with you. So we had to do go back to the other one, not that this one. This one, the wooden one. No, one before this that. one. Yeah, so that's called a mermaid. We had to do the mermaid stretch, <laughs> and oh, like fuck. she said that like the legs. So you're you're basically doing like a sprinter's uh, stretch or some shit where like both your legs are bent. And you have one leg, like let's say your left leg for this chick, for her example, your heel is kind of in the the midline inside of you and then the outer leg the right leg is just kind of out to the side she's like i have a hard time you know getting in this position most males can't i'm like oh i just popped up there and she's like how did you yeah. do that and like, well, again i just go I'm do not- work out and do a fucking sport you know yeah. <laughs> it's crazy don't limit your range I of motion look- and you'll be fine these people look like they're having so much fun i want to do pilates now dude i had no idea a reformer machine mick you're gonna love this one mick check this one Ooh, out there we go yeah, that one looks you fun could, as fuck. You could like, be you... the machine, Mick. That would that could be you. <laughs> you could like try. slam your fucking head against the wall. And, like, they had like several uh, older people kind of hurt themselves because in this position, of course, you don't have that. You know, people don't have that conditioning with your hamstrings, and they just fucking <laughs> they tweak hamstrings in this position. They're just yeah. So this is for the people who don't understand what's going on. Is that there are springs that attach here, right? <laughs> And then the pulley pulls this up. So as she's going into hip extension here, she's pulling this pad against those springs, which is also what Chase mm-hmm. was doing on the on the chest fly, if that wasn't clear. But yeah, I just imagine that being like, listen, get into fucking sick lumbar flexion and just do like rapid pull your legs oh, you should, down. You should have heard, you should have heard like how they were they're describing like extension versus flexion. They're just like there is one where you're basically like hip bridging up. She's like, I want you to roll like down that? your spine. No, it's the oh. other way to where like your hips are up, but your, okay. your back is still on the reformer. I, she basically told me, she, she cued me. She's like, I want you to um, roll your spine back down to where it's flat <laughs> on the reformer. I don't possible. know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> There's another oh one where it's like, she, she's like, make a C with your back. And basically like where the feet are on. Um, the reformer, the hands are right where like that other chick's foot is, like right on that wood. Right here. You know, and we're kind of yeah, we're kind of just making like toe touches. And she's like, I want you to make a C with your back. I'm like, I am. Like I'm, you know, I'm, I'm putting it in deflection. She goes, No, like squeeze up into your stomach and like a, a bunch of really ambiguous. Squeeze like, up man. into your stomach. You're yeah, like, like I have no idea what the fuck <laughs> you're talking about. I can't imagine how this one could go wrong at all. These ladies just look like they're having so much fun. I'm. I'm I've never had. Had fun in years. Oh, so dude, basically, this. you just like shit talking. Yeah. She's just fucking all. just bam, bam, yeah. run that across. You got to get through some reformer machines in this franchise, Jim's man. I might actually go to Pilates after. <laughs> I'm just saying one of these. There's these have Chick-fil-A. the same exact aesthetic as the the franchise. That's that's the one that we were kind of on. I mean, it didn't look as grungy, but um, it was a little bit more um up to date with the wood panel and stuff. Oh, what's that rack one? Show us the rack one. Oh, this dude, one's in a rack. Look at that. <laughs> that looks like a sex device. <laughs> Can you imagine going into this into this gym and being like, yes, please. This uh what what's your bet? I'm gonna go off this tab. What's your bet how much that costs Jesus when Christ. this looks? Uh, Dude, it's probably like two thousand dollars. Two thousand bucks? Okay. Ooh, you guys were five and a half grand. Oh, Holy shit. <laughs> this is the Pilates, Pilates short Cadillac reformer. <laughs> oh, this is awesome! God damn, you dude. could make this I mean, for two hundred. They're actually those underarm things that you hang off are actually pretty useful, though. This? Or, 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 no, 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 the thing the next to it, yeah, those things. 
yeah, those things. Just for hanging. You know, like the history behind Pilates, like why it was made. Is it a cult? A sex cult? Presumably, something about communism. No, in a way, a little bit. So it's people. It was some dude. His name was like John Pilates. Uh, back in like World War II, Harry Pilates. Yeah, what he got in World War II, like he made he made this machine for people who um, were covering in the you know the hospitals, like the vets were, and military servicemen. Uh, so people who were just like you know went through amp- amputations or just were having a hard time with recovering from whatever fucking thing they're in the hospital for, uh, he made this device and apparently <laughs> it's gone down this weird rabbit hole of just making you know. Uh, it's around around soccer moms and fucking fat women to get <laughs> shredded on. All right, this is it. There's only one of the Cadillacs. I we should do. You got to do a, a, a investigative documentary about the start of Pilates, man. About John Pilates from Oklahoma. <laughs> it's probably a cult. He's not from Oklahoma. I don't know where the fuck he's from, but ah, <laughs> oh, man, that's hysterical. I think yeah, you do. Yeah, I, wish, I wish we had some videos of it. You got to go back, man, and do yeah. get some videos. In disguise. <laughs> Like, oh, I, I want to do your hardest class, ma'am. No, you just yeah. got to get them worked into your prep series. Next time you're prepping for a meet, just post <laughs> only Pilates stuff and then singles yeah. and then be like, this is how I got so strong, everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, like, and do it wearing jorts as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What were you wearing for the, were you wearing your normal squat diaper? Yeah. Were you diapered up? Normal workout attire. Okay. So you had top knot, tank top. <laughs> he man tank top. <laughs> Yeah, right. I had my belt on, my shoes on, all that stuff. <laughs> Weighing <laughs> twice wrist straps, wrist, wrist straps on as well, <laughs> just hanging off. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, you and Phoebe got to get to Pilates more. That's exciting, dude. That was stupid. It's very mm-hmm. fucking stupid. Chase, where can we find information about you? At? Is it one uh, of just, these two <clears throat> locations? Yep, it is those. Um, so it's Chase Lindley on Instagram. Um, backup account Chase underscore Lindley. And um, you can also follow the gym page, Starting Strength OKC, to kind of see what our gym is like. Have you posted anything on uh, your Instagram recently since the last time last time we checked last mm, week? Not really. I went through a, a deload week this past week, but now I'm kind nice. of – So I, I have signed up for a meet in October, so we're about three months away. So I'm oh, kind of doing dude. some volume lift. Yep. We got to do a little meet prep series. That will be exciting. Yeah. Okay. Is it a strength lifting meet, Olympic weightlifting meet? Nope. Olympic weightlifting. Okay, Ooh, nice. So That's this will exciting. be my first actual Olympic meet. Just email them in advance and see if you can get a really long platform. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Can you guys do tell them make like a 16 by 16? <laughs> yeah. Tell them you're only going to turn up if they have a reformer Pilates machine for your warm-ups. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, man, be like, listen, I need a fucking runway. I got to get my lunges in. Um, <laughs> but yeah, okay, so Chase uh, is backup account, Chase underscore Linda. You can find me at my website. If you want to get videos in the show, we had a bunch of them last time. That was nice. Um, email them to support strength.club. All the links in the description, everything else like that. Any parting shots for the we, peoples, Mick? We literally have no form checks now in the queue. So we finished them. If you want to get on next week, if you want to get on next They're week, send in your reformers. And send us in your, <laughs> <laughs> send in your reformer <laughs> Pilates form checks in for us. Uh, or your, 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 your girlfriends or wives will take a look at those too. Um, yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, G Lock, G Lock here. He said, "Sorry, I'm late. I'm just getting off of work now." Nah, we were wondering Dude, it's, you almost, were, it's he's West Coast. That's fucking seven o'clock, dog. And we That's went terrible. We went long as well today. Oh my god, we did. We did go long. But all right, everybody, thank you very mm. much for watching. Next time, I guess we'll come back with the history of John Pilates and figure out how that all started. <laughs> Neville Pilates.